All right, this is a book, my first book review for 2012, and I know it's kind of late in the month, but the, um, as you can tell, this is a series review, so I had to get through the books in the series first. But anyway, just to recap, um, some of the reviews are going to consist of me rereading um, some old favorite books from, um, like, 2005 and stuff, so, yeah. But not all my um, reviews will be on books from this list, so just so you know. Um, but anyway, <coughs> this is going to be a book review, or series review, for T the TTYL series by Lauren Miracle, which consists of TTYL, TTFN, and Later Gator. I had to check this one out from the library because these are actually my sisters. Um, but when I read these, I originally when I first read these, I checked them all out from the library. So I'm going to talk briefly about these books um, individually, and then I'm going to do like a whole series for them. Okay, TTYL is, um, is the everyday kind of antics of Angela, Zoe, and Maddie, who are three best friends, and this is during their sophomore year of high school, and as a lot of people probably already know, it is written in... Um, instant messages and that's how it is throughout the whole book well all of the books actually so this one just kind of goes through sophomore year um, and then this is junior year and as you already probably can guess this is senior year so um oops I have my word. um these books are quite popular with um, middle school and high school crowd, probably mostly girls, I would assume. And I really like these um, books. I like them because I like Lauren Miracle as an author. And these are just really light-hearted kind of books, um, as opposed to Bliss and like Shine that she wrote. Um, it's kind of different type of type of book, but. Um, yeah, I want to say I'll probably give these between a three and a half and a four. Just because, like, as I was reading, rereading them, like, they're good. They're kind of those books that you just don't want to put down, and they're really quick. You can probably finish them in a day. So, but, um, as you're reading this, um, and they all go to the same school, but some of the time you're like, I was like, wouldn't they have talked about whatever they were talking, like, a thing at school like sometimes they act like they haven't seen each other I don't understand um but um yeah so I'm kind of just like okay and like some of them like conversations are kind of pointless like it doesn't I don't know that could just be me but there are really good books um and it's surprising too because these books um are banned and censored in certain libraries and school libraries due to the sexual content in there but my opinion is it's very contemporary for the targeted audience so that's just that's just me um it's nothing really bad i don't think um i know these are geared toward high school um the high school crowd but i know i do know that middle school people probably read these as well so I guess maybe for that I don't know I'm not sure but and I don't understand there's some things another thing that I don't understand is why did she start them during sophomore year why didn't she make it freshman year I don't know and then I thought it was something really neat too like if she made a updated one after this <coughs> incorporating like because this is with instant messaging but to incorporate like Facebook and Twitter and YouTube and all the new social networking sites that were um, developed after this, like that was really popular after this, because this was I think early 2000s, well late 2000s, 2007. But I just think that would be neat because you don't, because it's senior year and you know you go to college and stuff and no spoilers or anything, but um, just to see where they are now. So I know it's kind of. Um, very exciting review, but um, um, I know a lot of people have read these already. So, but if you're looking for, oops, 
if you're looking for just like I said a light um girly book then I would definitely recommend these um I say um way too much but anyway yes I've been waiting to review these because and this is what this one looks like and like they're really cute and everything so yeah I can see why they were they're so popular and it doesn't make sense why they would be banned in schools and stuff but anyway so yeah I would recommend this Lauren Miracle is a really really good author um, you should also check out Bliss and Shine by her if you haven't already because those books are really, really good. They're a lot different from these in that they're, um, like, let's see, I shouldn't say series. Um, more like realistic. I think well, this is going to be realistic fiction. Never mind. Forget what I was going to say. So yeah, that is just my quick talk on this. And I want to show you two books that I got, and I'll show you two books that I got recently and what I'm reading now. So, oh, those are probably a lot of people have gotten The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. And I haven't um, started it yet. I really want to, but. And this was $17.99 at Target. So I'm super excited for that. Oh, and as probably everyone has, the. Um, so, I'm So, and then I also got from the library, which this book looked really cool. It's The Zombie Autopsies, Secret Notebooks from the Apocalypse by Stephen, I don't know how to say it, but it just looks really um, interesting. Like, obviously it's fiction, but it's um, written by a doctor who um, obviously is doing zombie autopsies. Um, it's like taking apart them and and it's kind of neat because it's written in like the handwriting font so I think that's kind of neat um then it also has hang on let me see something let me find it I just know that like seeing this when I was flipping through because I thought it was just kind of an interesting book um um with private journals in here and um it's just kind of kind of cool book so I'll probably be reading this soon but what I'm reading now is I am still this is taking me forever I'm still working on triangles by Ellen Hopkins I'm almost let's see I am almost done with it so this will be done soon and I'm also started reading Such a Pretty Girl by Laura West and I remember reading this was on my um, I'm not even in the frame, really, um, my reading list, so, and as I started reading this, I'm kind of remembering it, and I just love this cover, this wilted rose here, it's just so cool, and that's just the words, it's just a really, um, good, bu uh, good book, really a good cover, so yeah, and this book is pretty short, so, I should be able to get this soon, but, there's just no time. So, anyway, that was my re series review talk. Not a review. A talk on, um, TTYL by Ellen Hopkins and Smart Dates. So, thanks for watching. Bye. Oh my god.